Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. Okay, some years ago, I made a decision, personal decision, that every year, as long as they continue to show their satanic filth called Big Brother show on the TV, that I'm going to continue to troll them, I'm gonna to continue to wake up the Church of Christ and make them take responsibility for what they allow into their homes. I have made a lot of videos about the Big Brother show. It's a satanic filth. There's no two ways about it. I know everybody wants to keep quiet and just let it happen, let it slide. But this is a satanic filth. So the Big Brother show is one of the biggest predictive programming show that is on TV today. Why do I call it a predictive programming show? If you follow me very closely, you will notice that I have done videos on predictive programming before. Predictive programming, they are predictively programming you for what must happen, for something that is to come, and it is impending, it's imminent. There's no two ways about it. And that thing that is coming is an era in human history when you will not have a mind of your own. This so-called Big Brother appeared for the first time in George Orwell's 1984. You can pick it up and look into it. That was the first time. And George Orwell was talking about an Orwellian totalitarian state. That's what he was talking about. A state where every single thing is controlled for you. You are in a show, you're watching a show and allowing it into your home, a show in which the people hear voices talking to them, but they don't know the voice that is talking to them. They say it's a big brother. Who is the big brother? How do we know who the big brother is? The big brother is Satan. Is the voice you're going to hear when you receive the microchip, when you receive the mark of the beast. You become like a robot. You don't know what you do. That same voice is what will guide your every action. That's what the big brother ideology is all about. I keep saying this to our people, but people are not listening. Thank God for the few who have listened and taken action. This nonsense should not be beaming, beaming into your home. How do we know that the voice they are hearing is the voice of Satan that is controlling them? Look at the insignia that they use. It is the one eye symbol, the evil eye of Horus, the evil eye of Satan, of Lucifer. And this is right in your face. They are not even hiding it at all. And for the sake of whatever it is, you allow this into your home. I am not talking to anybody out there who is already addicted to Big Brother. You are not a Christian. You don't have anything to do with Christianity. You are not the one I'm talking to, except if you find what I'm saying reasonable. That's okay. Fine. Thank God. I am addressing the body of Christ. I'm addressing Christians who continue to support these things, who continue to patronize this wickedness. And yet we go to church and pray against Satan. But when Satan comes up with a new merchandise, we are the first to patronize him with it. How is this? How do you marry these two things together? It beats my imagination. Do you know that some of the people who are going to be contesting the Big Brother show this year, they come from churches. They have pastors. And these pastors know them by name. And these pastors know that they are going for the show. And the pastors said nothing. Can't even preach against it in church. Let alone tell the person, don't go, this is not right. No. Everybody wants favorable comments on their, on their video on social media. Every preacher wants, oh, people love me so much. What, the things I say are just, I don't hurt anybody. Oh, straight. Because you feel like if you say this, oh, they will come and attack you. And so for the sake of not being attacked, we allow the truth of God's gospel to be buried alive before our eyes every day. What stops our pastors from mounting the podium and saying to the entire congregation, this thing is evil. Stay away from it. Stop letting it into your homes. We won't do it. I remember back in the days when Disney was beginning to grow wings. They went and started producing very, very profane things. Today, of course, it's more rampant now. Back in the days, they did it. And Baptist families, Anglican families in America, different church groups came together. Families and said, no, we are going to protest. 
We will not take this from Walt Disney. You cannot be feeding our children so much profanity and still make us pay for it. Anti-Christian themes, profanity, obscenity, incest, graphic sex, drug use. Today, the entertainment giant has turned its back on the traditional values which have served as the foundation of our society. Their anti-family actions have spoken louder than its corporate image and cartoon logos. Those actions are causing more and more groups to say enough is enough. The Assemblies of God announced today they were boycotting the Walt Disney Company. Church of the Nazarene sent Disney the letter this week. Catholics United for the Faith Incorporated announced yesterday the International Church of the Four Square Gospel expressed concern over Disney's also boycotting the Walt Disney Company is the Catholic League. Resolution to closely monitor the Disney Company, the Church of God of Cleveland, Tennessee, claimed the Walt Disney Company. That truth became even more evident when, in June of this year, the nation's largest Protestant denomination, the Southern Baptists voted to join the boycott all right if you approve of resolution number two on moral stewardship and the disney company would you please lift your ballots thank you lord them if you disprove this resolution would you please lift your ballots and the affirmative has it and resolution number two on moral stewardship and the disney company is passed. Now I have I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that on good days the Disney Corporation ignored us. On bad days they contemptuously gave us the back of their hand. They don't think that Southern Baptists are significant. I suspect that tomorrow when you vote to refrain from giving of your resources to any of Disney's enterprises, that in the next 12 months, Disney's going to find out just how many regiments and just how many divisions of godly people Southern Baptists have. Disney quickly set up to have a meeting with them because the amount of money they were going to lose was unprecedented. This is what is happening today. Can we have the same action today? Can we gather together today and say, look, let the body of Christ boycott Everything that has to do with BB Niger. What do you learn from the show? What are you learning there? Tell me what you learn. They will teach you how two people are lying down and sleeping and having sex on live camera. Why do you then say you don't want to watch pornography? To, to they, to this year's on, you don't know what they're going to introduce to you. Maybe they're going to introduce somebody sleeping, a woman sleeping with a woman, a man sleeping with a man or something. They will introduce all kinds of perversions to you. That's what the show is meant to encourage. They want to use it as a conduit to push all kinds of satanic ideologies to get your mind programmed into their life. What George Orwell was talking about in that book, 1984, they said they're going to have a thought police. When you think something that is against the government, somebody will arrest you. Why did you just think that if you had your way, you would have blown up this government house? Why did you think that way? you're going to jail. We now have the technology to monitor entire population and uh, discover, for example, the outbreak of a new disease when it's only just beginning and it's very easy to contain it and to follow all the, all, all the infected people and know exactly where they are and what they do. But this kind of surveillance system can then be used to monitor many other things what people think, what people feel, and if we aren't careful, this epidemic can give justification for the accelerating development of totalitarian regime. <laughs> Look at them, they are like guinea pigs inside that place. And when they finish, they have very fat financial reward. The children who are fighting every day in the academics to do well, to become somebody. When you finish, when they finish and they do so well, they give them scholarship of one million naira. Even governors are giving one million naira scholarship. So when BB Niger people finish millions upon millions upon millions of naira to reward stupidity and hard work 
is denigrated. Look at Big Brother Niger. How many countries? How many countries do you see it so popular as it is in Nigeria? It tells you the kind of people that Nigerians are. We are so fake. We are so fake. There's so much hypocrisy. Almost all the people who walk into the church are really not church people. They are really not true Christians. Tell me in all sincerity, what is it that will make a Christian allow BB Niger beat into their home? If you can prove it to me, I will shut up forever. But you will do it. You will do it. We are the ones funding every single satanic merchandise out there. Christians in the body of Christ. That's why nobody takes us serious. When it comes to criticizing what we shouldn't criticize, our mouth will go, Ooh. They look, BB Niger is coming. Watch, the 75 to 80 percent of the people who will patronize the show are Christians who go to church every day. Every day, pastors will watch. Mark my word, pastors and their wives will sit down and watch it and say, <laughs> and laugh. BB Niger, something that was created in the very pits of hell and brought to humanity. You are watching it. God is going to judge all of these things. I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. That you see, as long as I live, I've said it, I've made a covenant with God. As long as I live in this world, I will speak the truth of the gospel. I don't care about your truth, though. I don't care about the truth of your own religion, though. but the truth of the gospel of Christ, I will speak it even at the cost of my own life. I will do it and let you know that this is evil. You will see that there are people who will win this show. They will go to church and give testimony and pastor will allow them to stand on the podium and give testimony. This is the world we live. That's why nobody takes the church seriously anymore. Look at the clientele base. The people who will patronize the most are Christians. It's a shame. It's a shame. Turn off your TV. Stop watching the BB Naja rubbish. It is from the pit of hell. Prove me otherwise and I will keep quiet. Wake up, you Christians, and stop this nonsense. You are insulting God and everything that he stands for. Enough!